When we're talking about our Evolve, we can go over and um, videotape down here on our patient's stomach. I want them to see some contraction. So we have the transform. That is the RF and the EMS. RF and EMS. And you can see the contraction happening. This thing, you can just stay down there, brother. You can just stay on the patient. Yep. You can see the contraction happening uh, when the EMS kicks in. So we are treating with both skin tightening and muscle toning simultaneously. When we talked about um, those visual indicators, you can see right here, looking right at the, um, the transformer here, you can see a blue dot. That blue dot corresponds with the temperature. So from my door, I can just look, see how the middle one turned purple? We're heating up. The goal, once we get to our set point temperature, will be more towards yellow. So I can just look. How are you doing? Are you comfortable? Yeah, I'll say great. And I say I can see exactly where we're at in our treatment. So let's go over to the screen. We'll show them some principles. Jim, where do we have this set, my man? So initial settings on the system. We've got the RF power at 25, and then we've got the cutoff temperature at 40 to get initial good rate of rise of temperature, and then we'll increase to patient tolerance up to 43 degrees Celsius max. So what Jim said, because you guys are the clinicians, you get to pick those factors. We pick the cutoff temperature. That cutoff temperature may, for a thin-skinned, older individual, may not be as high as our young person here that's got good thick dermis. So we clinically get the opportunity to pick our temperature based on the patient's goals and anatomy. That's the cutoff. Right now it's at 40. The RF power, that is the actual gas pedal. Think of it as a gas pedal of the energy delivery that's going to get us to the finish line. Here's what I mean by that. So if the finish line is 40 degrees Celsius, RF power tells me how quickly or efficiently I'm going to get there. Now, listen up closely because this is confusing to most. RF power is, does not, N-O-T, does not indicate like a good treatment, bad treatment. What I mean is if I have RF power of 40, that doesn't mean it's a better treatment than RF power of 25 because at the end of the day, it's temperature. So my RF power of 40 is just going to get me to my cutoff temperature more quickly than 25. But at the end of the day, whether it's 25 or 40, I'm getting to my end temperature regardless. Does that make sense? 